Hi, it's me, Ben, and welcome to the channel. Now, this channel, as you know, it's still a bit evolving and whatnot, but I thought I'd talk a little bit about the Mac, particularly the new M1 IMAX that was announced. Okay, so let me go over some basic specs, okay? Um, first of all, the M1 iMac will come with a 24-inch 4.5K Retina display um, that can be will be configurable with a 7-core GPU or 8-core GPU variant of the M1 chip. Yes, the new iMacs will have the M1 chip. Um, let's see, of course, default 8 gigabytes. I don't, I'm unsure if you can get a 16 gigabyte model, but I'm pretty sure you can. Um, let's see, of course, the, there will be the usual ports in the back, um, and all that jazz. That's cool, right? That's good. And then in, new design. It's a new updated design. As you can see from the picture, sorry I don't really have a better picture. Um, this, it's still kind of new so there's not many pictures per se out there. But here's the thing. The thing is that even though it had a new design which I'll be honest, that alone, we are used to a similar formula. Some people are happy about the new design, some people aren't. I'm eh, kind of iffy about it. The reason I say I'm iffy about it, because on one hand, yeah, new design, updated design. <clears throat> the whole front is going to be glass. That's fine. That's dandy. But, at the, and new colors. New color, that's great. Orange is actually my favorite color. Um, <clears throat> and then, but I'll probably pick up the gray one to match my iMac. If you want to see an, I mean, match my MacBook. I don't have an iMac. But if you want to see <clears throat> me unbox my MacBook, um, there will be a card top right hand corner. Click the I, <clears throat> but, Hit that thing. The keyboard that comes with apparently will have Touch ID, um, and apparently it will have quote studio quality mics. <clears throat> um, now, hit my worry. Here's my concern. Okay, I could be wrong. Again, I could be entirely wrong about this, but from what I have seen, I have not seen a RAM upgrade slot in the back of the MacBook. It's it, because the iMac, not MacBook, iMac, I keep getting it wrong, I apologize for that. See, I have come to know that out of the MacBooks, the one thing that is a constant usually is that the RAM can be upgraded on the iMac. That that even, you know, steers some people to want to get the iMac versus the MacBook because the MacBook is a laptop so you can upgrade the RAM. But with the iMac, you usually can. But the new M1 chips, I did not see a place on the back to upgrade the RAM. So it's a bit thinner, quite a bit thinner actually, new design, new colors, that fine, that dandy, heavy or fancy colors, but I did not see a place to upgrade the RAM, not at all. I could be wrong, again, let me know if you took time to listen to this, or watch this, or whatever, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this, because I'm truly on the fence about 
this. Truly, and yeah, truly. I'm not sure what I think about this. Now, do I own an iMac at the moment? No. I'll be honest, I was thinking about potentially getting one in the future. Do I need one? I don't know. I'd rather be safe than sorry. <clears throat> but the fact that you can't upgrade the RAM, I'm not sure. I'll be honest, if I could get an um, iMac, I don't know if there's sufficient RAM for a decent price. I don't know. Maybe I'd upgrade anyway. But yeah, we'll see what happens. What case scenario? Yeah, actually, I don't even know what case scenario. I don't know how to finish that statement. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this going to be a deal breaker for you guys? Will you guys have to see, but you'll probably end up getting it anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Comment section below. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the...